That was nice. So we can't get into this one again without screwing it. Ooh, nice in that line. There we go. Get back. Let's see if we can't get this first turn to work again. I'm loving, I'm tipsy because I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city. And she ain't foreign and she boring. Love the way you twerk it, shawty. Throwing money on her own. I call it independent, shawty. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsports 7, staring down that Forza Edition Z01 Camaro wide body. Um, that car actually does meet ESDA spec with uh, 305s in the rear, running about 35 and a half, 3,500, a little over 34, 3,500 pounds. Uh, sport tires, which are the stock tires on there. And it is under 800. It is running a little over 800 horsepower. It does meet ESDA spec. And uh, it gets sideways. That's for sure. So we decided to hop back onto Forza Motorsports 7. Since I had a lot of fun doing that Viper Challenge from um, Alpaca the Boss. If you guys missed that episode, make sure you guys check that out down in my recent videos. He challenged me to drive a V10 Viper. and See if I can handle the power. And I loved how it handled with the spoiler and the downforce. So... I made this car to see if I can use it in ESDA. So we're going to take this car out. We're going to take it, do some public hoppers, and uh, see how we do in a pack with this car. Um, it's definitely a nasty car to drive. So before we hop into a pack, just to give you guys an idea on what this car is uh, running like, I'll uh, run a quick... Uh, We'll run a quick little run at, you know, the short Maple Valley. Or maybe, yeah, we'll run a quick run here at the short Maple Valley um, to give you guys an idea on exactly what this car, um, what I've been working on with this car, how to get the suspension and settings and everything I wanted to make this car handle pretty dang well so like i said this car does meet all esda spec will i be using this car in esda uh it's very likely um i may be changing it up trying some other cars but this was one car that i was definitely intrigued in trying and uh it handles so we'll see what we can i'll show you guys what i mean we're gonna get the wheel cam turned on there we go quick uh flick of the scene change here in the elgato software so nice so uh we're gonna rip this here on uh, Maple Valley Short, and then we're gonna head into some online hoppers with this car. Maybe bring that Viper back out and uh, see how we, if we can get rid of that uh, online hopper jitters that I always seem to get. So here we go. We're gonna kick this car in. There we go. See it. Uh, it's pretty stable, just like that Viper. Very minimal corrections on my wheel. I can stay matted with the way I have it power set up. So as you can see, this car handles very well, just like that Viper. So I think I may be definitely sticking with this car for ESDA. Now, if I was actually in a drift thing, I probably would have linked all of that. Look at that little quick control clutch kick, and we stayed sideways. I got scared. I thought I was going to hit the grass. But so as you can see, this car handles amazing with how I have it set up. And uh, it's definitely uh, one of the most stable cars that I've built. So that's why I'm uh, definitely intrigued at possibly using this in ESDA this year. But I might be messing with some other cars as well. But I mean, that was just a quick stable flick in. I'm able to keep how I want. I can use my brakes to modulate my speed. I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think this car handles very well here getting sideways at Maple Valley. Uh, I'd like to know what you guys think about this car down in the comment section down below. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you dislike the massive wing? Which I almost lost. So we're going to head over and uh, get our uh, bearings set in an online hopper. See if we can't get rid of that hopper jitters that I've been dealing with recently where I go into a hopper and I just completely forget how to drift. Um, I don't know what it is. I think I just get overworked and I just overthink it and I uh, focus more on points than I do 
actually just enjoying driving. So we're going to hop into multiplayer, find a session, get us into an online session here and see what we can do in an online session with this car. Like I said, we might be busting out that Viper again. Um, definitely two of my favorite cars to drive right now. And I think it has to do something with the downforce being able to help me in the higher speed sections. Um, I got to do some more testing with this Camaro to see if that high speed um, wing is going to cause an issue on lower speed corners. It hasn't had a problem yet. That front tire is just tucking. I think, believe those are 20s uh, HRE wheels in there. So let me know what you guys think about this Camaro. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you have one? Have you ever tried building it to drift? Let me know down in the comment section down below. So I'm going to wait for this last minute and 16 seconds till this race starts. So I'll catch you guys back rather than uh, let you guys sit here while I'm waiting. Catch you back when the lobby opens up. So we are here. It is at Top Gear Full Circuit. Um, have I have not actually drifted Top Gear Full Circuit um, in Forza 7 yet. So it's definitely going to be new for me. Uh, let's see. We got any driver's gears we could switch it up. I don't think we have a Chevy driver's gear. No, nope. no, we don't. Get a prog. It's definitely a lot of cool driver's gears in here. I think we're gonna stick with the teal. Ah, uh, we'll go gray right now since we're rocking the that matte gray Camaro. No livery. That's another thing I will be working on here soon is the livery for cars as well as a team livery for anybody that wants to rock a team evil rabbit livery. I do appreciate all the support from all you guys, all you subscribers, and everybody that comes by. And checks out these episodes on the daily or by daily recently because of getting everything set up but now that I got everything set up all is good daily uploads live streams 1080p what could be better so we're gonna get the wheel cam turned on before I forget there we go <laughs> that would that would be get wrecked moment you know doing an entire session without a wheel cam on for you guys because you know that that's what makes this so much better than just watching a car drift all right so Top Gear Desk Track have not drifted here much, so uh, this should be interesting. Like I said, we're trying to get rid of these uh, lobby hopper multiplayer jitters. We're just going to try and focus on just having fun, getting this car sideways, getting more acclimated with it, and not worry too much about points because I feel the points will come if we just have fun getting sideways, and that's really what all this is about. So I would hate to have to start in that turn. So we're actually pretty close to the front, so... Let's uh, see how this goes. I feel like it... I have a feeling the first turn is going to be a nightmare, but we're going to send it in anyways. I don't remember this track that much. I don't want to hit these guys. I got scared. I thought that guy was going to hit me, but he didn't, so we're good. That was probably a second gear turn. There we go. guy scared me but he was a ghost so we're good Ooh. like I said this Camaro handles so nice right now definitely uh, having a lot of fun with this Camaro I feel like we should be able to get points to that section Ooh, slow that car down this is a really tight section and uh, was not expecting to be that tight so that was my fault not the car's fault now I know this is a section. It's a pretty high speed, uh, pretty high speed kick section. There we go. We're gonna kick it. Try and stay in bounce. There we go. Riding that outside edge. Ooh. I thought that dude was gonna hit me, and we were gonna lose everything. Let's see if we can link this in there. Nice long e-brake grab. Too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. Ah, uh, if we would have stayed off the grass, we would have kept all our points. I don't want to be that guy. All right, we're good. I didn't want to be that guy that uh, comes back on track and screws everybody's points up. So, not doing too bad in this session. Just uh, getting more acclimated with this car. We can't kick this like everybody else. Kick it this way. There we go. Oh, too much. somewhat save that this track is so narrow I 
And that's the moment when I realize I should be in my own party so I don't hear everybody else's commentary or mics. I will do that next if I remember. But uh, it's Camaro. Why buy ZL1? Oh, so we can go across that line, okay. Oh, so that makes that section not as tight as I thought. Ooh, running that grass edge right there. We're good. Woo. Definitely having a lot of fun in this Camaro. This section, so nice to get a lot of points. You gotta make sure you don't go too wide or too short and lose them all. And then this section as well. And I feel like we should be able to get points in this section, but this is where I overshot last time. We'll slow that down a little bit. There we go. That was perfect. Take it back this way. Yes. Definitely getting super comfortable with this Camaro. Um, I don't know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think. Am I getting comfortable with this Camaro? Because I feel like I am. There we go. Yup. Oh! <laughs> and the deadly cross. I did not see that coming. Ah, oh, the crossover on the track got me. I was getting it through that turn though. Normally I'd be a little bit upset, but I'm trying to just, you know, have fun with this car. Oh, that was close. Because that's all it's all really about, is just having fun, getting sideways, having a little laid back slide session. Too much, too much, too much, too much. I just want to save the car. Dang, somebody went all up in these tires. Somewhat salvage this run. So, a lot higher up in the points than we have been before. And that as a testament to just not solely focusing on points, just solely focusing on the drift line. And the points will come. That's for sure. Like that, there we go. That was nice. See if we can't get into this one again without screwing it. Ooh, nice in that line, there we go. Get back, let's see if we can't get this first turn to work again. Oh my gosh. This Camaro is something else. All right, let's kick this sideways, a little clutch kick. Break that in long. I don't see anybody coming, so we should be good. There we go. Stay on the track. Those random ghost uh, burnout marks are tripping me out here, but. Ooh. So, if we wouldn't have gotten tapped in that cross last time, we'd probably be up a lot higher in points. But. I can't complain with uh, the points we are at right now because uh, it's a lot better than I thought we were going to be for sure. How high can we go out here? Pretty high actually. There we go. Like I said, this Camaro is actually very stable. Definitely super excited to keep driving this car and get more and more comfortable in this car. I think we're going to keep this car going to another session. I was all off gas hoping I'd slow down. Paint it back and forth. There we go. Add all those points together. And uh, now we're up to fourth. I mean, that was definitely a quick, controlled entry, downshift. Made sure I was on the brake so I didn't overshoot that turn. Uh, yep, I'm in love with this Camaro. Hands down. 10 out of 10. We're definitely driving this car a lot. We got Chelsea Denofa in front of us. I don't know how we made that. I really do not know how we made that turn. Bank those points before we head into this section. Around Denofa. There we go. 
Yup. Oh man, online hopper. Uh, I think this car gave me the, oh, I just did what he did. I did exactly what he did. Uh, <laughs> good thing it's end of the hopper, but I think the online hopper jitters may be gone with this car. So definitely gonna try one more online session with this Camaro and see if we can't continue a very good I wish we would have gotten a podium, but you know what? I'll take fourth. Alright, we're here at Dubai Mountain Circuit. We're pretty uh, dead smack in the center, so hopefully we can uh, not get too uh, beat up here. Initiate in, there we go. Kick down the second. Avoid the M3 that just spun out. Avoid him. Kick it sideways. There we go. Please don't hit me. We're on a good run. With this Camaro. These guys are like training it up here. I don't want to get too close to all that, but it would be sweet to get some tandems. Trying not to lose these points, definitely banking a lot here, because uh, we're banking second place right now. Up here with these guys. Kick it, there we go. Oh, I lost drift. Should have clutch kicked. We still got it though. Still good. Nice and sideways, high angle. Don't lose that. Just a tap, don't lose those. Please don't lose those. Well, we did lose our big spoiler, but I don't think it's gonna actually affect us that bad. Because it is only cosmetic. So, cosmetic damage, I believe I still have the downforce. Even though the wing is gone. Too fast. I knew that was too fast. As soon as I threw it, I knew that was going to be a problem. There we go. I'm gonna bank as many points as we can through this section. Let's get on the brakes so we don't smack into that guy because we're uh, we're holding a comfortable third by 7,000 points. So definitely trying to ease off this guy a little bit so we can uh, not lose too many points or uh, mess him up at that. There we go. This car likes third gear. I don't know what happened there. Dang it. I mean, that S14 scared me. Impromptu tandems with the S14. Let's see if we can't pass him. There we go, that was a clean pass. Clean pass sideways, because fourth place is catching up to us. Definitely gonna bang as many points as we can now. Stay on throttle so don't lose drift here. With the pavement change, we're good. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can keep this. This is definitely a really good run here at Dubai Mountain Circuit with this Camaro. Yes, that was nice. People shedding body parts. We're holding 12K. large don't lose that now Whew. we're holding 16 large through there we're holding 11 large over fourth place as long as we can stay consistent we should be able to podium here in Dubai Mountain Circuit in our ZL1 white body Camaro 
Yup. These guys definitely got a lot more points ahead of me, but you know, I did have that mix up. Whew, 16 large, oh, that man just wrecked. Now we got a little space. We can stretch our legs a little bit more with this Camaro. See if we can't link all of this. There we go. This car is just so smooth. I thought I was gonna go too fast. Definitely off throttle a lot through that section. Try not to smack that wall. But definitely has the power in third gear. Bank those points. Try not to hit that man. This dude in front of us is number one. I think the guy behind us might be number two. Yup. One, two, and three right here. One, two, and three in a tandem train. Dubai Mountain Circuit. This is definitely sick right now. Don't hit me. Oh, you get wrecked. That's cool, though. That was uh, definitely a close, close tandem run. Take the inside edge. I don't want to hit him. Don't want to hit him. Don't want to hit him. There we go. Definitely trying to be smooth and not hit this. Ah. Oh. Oh, I feel bad for that now, but he's definitely got a huge amount of points up there. We got a minute left. We were doing pretty good tandeming up there in that nice little uh, little train. Ow! What happened there? He still got first place, so I don't feel that I don't feel as bad as if I would have made him like say lose first place. Get out of this man's way. There we go. Definitely gonna apologize to that man for uh, making him lose those points, but we are in fourth now? Why? Oh, because we lost all those points. Well, see, that's what happens. I uh, lost all the points in that section and kicked me down to fourth. But, you know what? It, it's definitely was still a fun episode here on Forza Motorsport 7 in this wide body Camaro if you guys want to see more episodes like this don't forget to tap that like button subscribe to the channel I do appreciate all the support oh we got our third place back what with 14 seconds left uh can we keep that podium spot with seven seconds left four three two one uh I think we kept our podium I think we took third that definitely makes me excited to be able to take third podium spot here in a public hopper. There we go. We got an achievement for that, too. Complete a challenge. Wait. I got a motion capture? Okay. So, we placed third here at Dubai Mountain Circuit. So, I think that's going to do it here for this episode here on Forza Motorsport 7. If you guys want to see more, you know what to do. So, until next time, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. And I'm out. Do, do, do. Oh.